did you know that parasites are demons and these things you need to get rid of them immediately from your body and uh even getting rid of them is not easy you need to understand you shall know the truth and it shall set you free now my friends demons and parasites they have similar behaviors and when you see what the bible says about demons is exactly what parasites are all about and when you watch closely and you're keen to understand my friend you will get to know that these things that we call parasites are basically just uh, embodied spirits they are spirits they are demons which are living inside people they are possessing people inside them and people do not know how to get rid of them now i'm going to give you a couple of comparisons between demons and parasites and you're going to tell if really these things are demons all right now first and foremost you have to understand that demons infiltrate and they inhabit individuals or spaces those are demons for example in the book of mark chapter 5 verse 9 jesus asked a man who was possessed by an unclean spirit what is your name and the answer saying my name is legion for we are many you see so this man was inhabited by a demon so demons they inhabit bodies and what do parasites do likewise they do the same parasites infiltrate and inhabit a host leaving off the host's resources you see the comparison there again demons they are known to cause destruction all right destruction of uh, of of uh, things and destruction of of uh, people and uh, things like that so demons they seek to destroy their hosts as seen in 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 the book of john 10 10 where the bible says the thief comes not but to steal to kill and to destroy that is the work of demons and what do parasites come to do parasites weaken and eventually destroy their hosts by draining them of vital nutrients you eat the parasite eats you know you eat this have you ever seen some children especially in mal malnutrition area you will find that the children have reached to a point that the tummy is so big you think they are eating to get full but it is malnutrition it is full of tapons full of things which are just eating destroying this child my friend these things are demons and again talk about attachment demons can attach themselves to a person always leading to bondage like in the book of luke chapter 13 verse 11 uh, we see a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years and was bowed together and could in no way lift herself up do you see that demons are able to attach themselves to a person and likewise the parasites attach themselves to their host often clinging unto them for survival all right and again demons depend on a host to manifest their evil works so much they depend on the host they they have nothing of their own they depend on the host and uh, we see this in the book of um, mark chapter 9 verse 25 a demon causes a child to fall into convulsions they want to call to 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 use this child to do different things you see the child was co uh, having these convulsions sometimes demons can use people to go and hit other people and that's why we have been told all the time when you see people behaving weirdly don't always think it's them probably is the demons probably is the parasites because parasites depend on a host for uh, sustenance to be able to do their own things and they are unable to survive independently for long periods and they need to reproduce that's why you see people who are love doing sinful things for example uh, people who are promiscuous the demons the parasites they need to they, they want to procreate they want to become more and more so what are they going to do they need to give you those tendencies because remember there is even a, a parasite called t gondi which goes all the way to the brain and influences your thoughts so you think you're the one who is uh, sexually uh, active you think you're the one who loves stealing but it's the parasite which is literally telling you go and steal go and do this go and do this go and do this they influence you is it not just exactly what the bible tells us about demons they influence you because demons are often invisible and yet their influence is felt 
Look at Ephesians 6.12, which says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. Things that we cannot see, you can't, you can't see it. It is inside you, giving you some instructions, but you cannot see. That is what we are fighting against. And parasites are often microscopic or they are hidden, and yet they significantly affect the host. Now, let's talk about distortion of identity. Did you know that uh, uh, demons distort the identity of a person? As seen in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 28, where two demon-possessed men were described as exceedingly fierce so that no man might pass by that way. You find someone is so angry all the time. Someone is always uh, very manipulative, very uh, cheeky, you know, a liar, a thief. But it is basically parasites, demons. Because parasites can distort the health and behavior of their host. Have you ever had this kind of malaria whereby people become as if they, are, they have gone nuts in some way and some kind of diseases like syncophenia, we know bipolar diseases, you know, this, this type of diseases whereby you wonder, mm, what is this? And this is not a medical advice video. So I'm just explaining about demons and parasites, all right? So now, you see, they, they distort the health and the behavior of their host, making them unrecognizable over time. And again, they are very uh, resistant to removal. It is very hard for you to get them out. Demons resist removal. Likewise, the parasites resist removal. All right? And when you look at demons resisting removal, sometimes they require spiritual authority to cast them out, and also something else different. Remember what Jesus said in the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 29. Jesus said, this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. You see, Jesus said, you need to fast to get these kind of demons out of you. Why? <laughs> when you look at it scientifically, we always know that uh, one of the best ways to get rid of parasites is fasting. And when you get rid of uh, parasites through fasting, your mind gets clear, your body gets strong, you, you, you loosen up. Most of the people that I see in churches today, some people are so bulgy. And then you ask yourself, really? Really? I'm not saying that is bad to be bulgy. But at the end of the day, get rid of some of these parasites. And also don't think that is only about being bulgy. Even be, being so thin. There are other parasites which make people so thin. All you need to do, my friend, go and fast. Get rid of those worms. Get rid of all those stepworms. They are the ones who are really giving you all this hard time. And when you understand this, my friend, we'll have a very beautiful place to live and very beautiful moments. They also cause sufferings. Remember, demons cause physical and emotional suffering, like uh, the way the Bible says in Matthew 17, verse 15. A father describes his son saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he's a lunatic and so vexed. For oftentimes he falls into the fire and into the water. You see? So they cause suffering. These children, this child was always falling into fire and this and that. And likewise, the parasites cause physical suffering leading to diseases and other health issues. And of course, um, they, demons can influence others through the actions of the host. All right, the host, they can influence others through the actions of their host. Like in, in the book of Acts chapter 19 verse 16, the man possessed by the demon leaped on them. The Bible says he leaped on them and overcame them. <laughs> Come here, he overcame them. Parasites likewise can spread from one host to another through sexual intercourse, through different things, maybe, you know, contaminated food and things like that. They go from here to there, here to there. Is it not just exactly the same thing? And uh, finally, opposition to life. Demons always oppose the spiritual and physical well-being of a person. As seen in First Peter 5, 8, the Bible says, Be sober, be vigilant, for your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. The parasites always oppose the health and the life of their host living at the expense of the host and his well-being. My friend, get rid of those parasites in your tummy. Get some fasting. You know, do some detoxing of your body and uh, you get out some, some of these demons. My friend, 
You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Hope you're set free.